Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Have you ever noticed these gaps in railway tracks? What might be their use? Or is it just for workmanship? Well, the answer lies in a very simple yet important phenomenon called buckling. Buckling is a sudden change in shape of an object due to a stress applied on it. In railway tracks, it is caused by the thermal stress developed due to the heating of the tracks. Thermal stress is a type of stress caused by the change in temperature of a body. On heating, the kinetic energy of constituent molecules of a body increases, thus causing the body to expand. On cooling, the opposite effect can be observed. Let's take an example of a simple rod resting on two supports as shown. On heating the rod, expansion can be observed. This is because the rod is free to expand and hence does not experience any opposing force. The extension of the rod is given by dL, where dL is the extension of rod, T is the temperature change, L is the original length of the rod and alpha is the coefficient of thermal expansion. What is the coefficient of thermal expansion, you might wonder? Well, the coefficient of thermal expansion is the measure of the change in the size of a material with respect to the change in temperature. A material having low coefficient of thermal expansion is helpful in applications where temperature changes are wide. For example, in aerospace applications, a nickel iron alloy called INVAR is used for a tight tolerance in parts when wide temperature changes occur. Now suppose the rod is being held between two unmovable restraints such that it is not free to expand. Since the rod is being heated, it will try to expand, right? But we've placed restraints at the two ends of it. Because of this, thermal stress will develop in the rod. Thermal stress can also be given as a product of thermal strain and Young's modulus of the material. Now consider an example where two materials of different thermal coefficients are joined together. How will the system react? The most common example of such a case is a bimetallic strip. A bimetallic strip is formed by joining two strips of metals having different coefficients of thermal expansion. On heating, the strip bends towards the side having a smaller coefficient of thermal expansion. This simple phenomenon can cause the strip to exert a load on one side, thus inducing compression on one side and tension on another. The use of bimetallic strips can be seen in thermostats where it is used to control the temperature or watches where it is used to compensate for the expansion of balance spring. The thermal stresses developed in a material may cause deformation, thus resulting in possible fracture. To compensate for such thermal expansion, structures are provided with gaps as seen in bridges and railway tracks. Thus, thermal stresses, although being a simple phenomenon, can cause considerable effects on bodies. Well, that's all for this video, guys. Stay tuned for more interesting content. And until next time, bye.